Alright guys, welcome back to Dark Cloud 2 Blind. So we are going to go over to the Bistro. Pretty sure I got all the item chests that I possibly can get out of the future so far. So. What? Now there's not going to be any item chests in here, will there? I mean, that'd be cool if there was. I could always... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's... All right, so white flower, wind, something. There we go. All right, what's gonna happen? Ooh, this looks like it's going to be fun. <laughs> oh, his slashes were rainbows. Miracle dumplings. All right. Alright, to the past we go. Let's get Lin all feeling better and stuff. And this game. Oh, such brilliant storytelling. I kind of don't want the LP to ever end. <laughs> Alright, back to the past we go. Alright, and that's the church, but that is Lynn. Here we go. Boo -da -boo -boo. All right, what do we got here? How did it go? No need to worry. He made us the miracle dumplings. Yeah, they look really good too. Hands off! Those are my lid. I know, I know. Let's hurry up and get them to her. Okay. I don't really like dumplings anyway. I'm not really a fan of them. Miracle dumplings! Can we take her as a party member, please? That's a brave man. Lynn, we 
can go save Crest right now. We'll change his history so he won't have to die. You can save him? Why don't you come with us? If your memory returns, you can help save him. Hmm. Master Interesting. Master but I thought I could only go to the future, not the past. I don't know. I just don't know. I can't remember anything. Then in the very depths of your heart, I think you want to forget you ever saw Master Crest's death. That's why you can't remember it. But your memories are crucial if we are to save Master Crest. You must do your best to remember. Don't worry, there's plenty of time. Let's take Wynn with us and go to the Cape Lighthouse. Maybe that will help her to remember something. Yes, we have to try. Then please, look after Lynn. Good luck, and be careful. Okay. Okay. Lynn has joined you. Borneo has returned to the party. Okay. What does Lynn do? Oh, Lynn's cute. Young Sorceress Apprentice training to be a sage. Gives bonus points when you upgrade a Bizarre. Hey. That'll be good. Alright, well, we have Lynn saved now. Which I think that might have changed something in the future. Possibly. Yeah, something changed. Tool shop has been restored. Alright, so we're gonna go to the future because there's a tool shop. And I mean, I might as well see if they have, like, good weapons or something. Alright. Whoa. What's... What? A star glass is a mysterious item that can reverse the flow of time. But it can only turn back time to a moment of deep significance to the person that uses it. If we use a star glass to go back into Lynn's memory, we can get back to the time when Lynn and Crest were attacked. Great idea. Interesting. Unless Lynn can get her memory back. Okay. This is this is a little different. Hi. Okay. You you did nothing. Um oh, I fell. Oh, fell again. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the uh I guess we activated a cutscene early. I, I guess that's good. Alright, what do we got here? In the future. Star items. Ooh, 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 th this way. Hello. Really? Hi, mister. What the? Really? Can't get any pictures of anything here, huh? Well, maybe this thing. No? Star glass. There we go. Wait a minute. Do I. What? What is that? Well, first off, what is that? No? What is that? Crescent shaped light. There we go. You think the star glass is pretty weird? You're telling me. I've got one as well, but I certainly think mu don't think much of it. Certainly never turn back time. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to you. If you try experimenting, you'll be able to beat even the toughest of enemies. Oh, I'm beating... Pro oh. Star Leotard. 
Leotard like a starry sky. Star glass is only 300, really. Oh, I guess I can only buy one. Mighty healing. That's good. Oh, we're going to buy four more repair powders. Oh, man. Power crystals I can buy here? That's awesome. I kind of want to get that, um... Leotard, just because. Uh, there we go. Leotard, please. All right, let's change. Uh, let's change her dress. Why not? Oh, hello there. Oh nope. All right, well, pumpkin shorts. See the difference? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Well, we'll we'll do that. Uh, you know what? I think I don't think I'm actually gonna need like clothing or anything, but I want to be able to store stuff. So that's like the big thing. So you know what? I'm not gonna sell that actually. Dang, that is a short skirt, lady. All right. So we got us the star glass, which is a needed item, I guess. Whoa. I keep falling. Oops. Okay, so there's only one big area that we have not uh, got a building on, which is nice. Or maybe a second big area if this counts. Oh, can I? I cannot drop there. Okay, back to the past. All right. Now let's see what else is going on here. We're gonna save because we've made some good progress here. Uh, that. Okay, what? Okay, I have plenty. I guess we can do one floor in the dungeon. Okay. Uh, I don't need to go to the valley. I need to go to the canyon. Okay, that says... I don't know. I don't know which one I should go to. I'm, I'm guessing I have to go to Yorda. Because we now have Lynn all well and stuff. So, I mean, it will be nice. Alright. Come on. Let us, thank you. Sweet. Okay, where do we go? Okay, over to the bridge here. Cannot do a select move, which kind of sucks. Alright, so up. And up here we go. What? Oh, I guess we... Okay. We'll rest at the Yorda tree, I guess. <laughs> ah, this game is making me do things. Alright. Okay, when are you going to activate? That's the question. There we go. Alright, what do we got? Oh, we got some flashbacks here. That's good. Oh. Whoa. What just happened? Oh, we went into her memory. Okay.
To tell the truth, I want to be the kind of person who can put everyone else at ease. Everyone can count on a sage. With a dependable person nearby, danger is always far away. That's what a sage is. Don't you think you'd want someone like that near you? Someone to count on? Yeah, I do. My hometown was an easy target for the thieves that came from the desert. Everyone was constantly on edge, never knowing when they would strike next. <laughs> the fairies. As a child, I often wondered, isn't there someone strong out there who can take care of these thugs? What about the sages I read about in fairy tales? Where are they? Well, I was about to find out. It was when the thieves were plundering the village one day. A single robed man showed up out of nowhere. He used mysterious magic to defeat the raiders one by one and defend the village. I thought this must be who I've been waiting for. So I asked him, are you a sage, I said. He replied, me? I'm no sage. I could never come close. A sage is a person who can defend others just by being there, he said. Just by being there? Is that even possible? That's what I want to do, if I can. So that sage was my role model. Hmm. Sages are great people, aren't they? So, if you can use a lot of magic, then you can be a sage? Hmm, I wonder. Even I don't know that. <laughs> oh, whoa, ooh. We're not gonna have a boss fight, are we? What is that? What's that? It's a memo eater, so that's it, huh? Memo eater? That's right. It gets into people's heads and eats up their memories. Okay, I think that might be a memo. Ugh. It's ugly. Alright, well, I mean... <laughs> Devourer of Memories, Memo Eater. Alright. We are gonna run away first. Alright. What do we have here? Where's my memo book? And a memo eater. <laughs> so let's just take a picture of memo eater. Got it. Got it. No effect, huh? All right, let's. Uh... Wow, man, you do not have a lot of health for a boss. Jeez, you're fast for a fat guy. Yeah, man, this makes it so much easier. Um, you know what? I kind of want to equip one of these. No effect, huh? Okay. Alright, we'll just do this. You're dead. Uh, I should upgrade his parts, because I haven't done that. Well, that was... Man, these boss battles are, like, nothing. I remembered everything. All of it. It was under this tree that my master told me his dreams of being a sage. Uh, I must go to the lighthouse. Save Master Christ. Right, the lighthouse. That's where you and Crest were attacked. So if we go there, we can save Crest. Right, let's go. Ugh. Okay. All right. All right, boss battle. Boom, done. Awesome. 
Okay, so let's go across the bridge. And yeah, like these boss battles are like nothing. I mean the um the rainbow butterfly was a little tricky, destroying the butterflies in color order. Oh, do, 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 no, save. But I mean, like that one, I think it was like five shots with the uh, rye pod. So it was like super simple. All right. Okay, we're going to exit. And we're actually going to do a little bit of upgrading of the rye pod. And then we are going to just end the video. All right. I mean, I'll be able to probably get like three floors in the uh, next uh, next video, which will be really nice. All right, and this way. Oh yeah, and then there's the kid who always asks for scoops. I should talk to him. He's down here. All right, let me through. There we go. All right. Alright, now, uh, where is he exactly? Uh, not Rufio, not Julia. Is he not down here? Did I move him in? I don't think I did. Harn's the painter, the priest, the cook, and the, uh, other guy. <laughs> Gerald's all alone. <laughs> he deserves to be. My father's kind of a douche. Alright, Donnie. Dig for a scoop? Yeah. What can I buy from you? I already bought the... Okay. Alright. And... Cedric should be here. There we go. Upgrade. Alright. Yep. Upgrade the core again. Super core. And we're going to buy another one of these. There we go. Man, look at that core. We are just... We are just making some great stuff on that core. Uh, let's repair that. Oh, okay. Repair. Oh, and I guess... Oh, I could have saved two. Whatever. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, now it's time to save. Uh, you know what? Over that, it's not really going to matter. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will end up seeing you back here for more Dark Cloud 2 Blind.